Hi! Welcome to Network Encyclopedia YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to specifically talk about DHCP scope. This is the feature that allows system administrators to have control of the IP addresses that will be assigned to all the hosts on the network. As you probably know, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This is the magic element in the IP protocol that supplies your device with a temporary identification that allows you to connect to an IP network, such as the internet. It is temporary, because it isn't always the same. It could be different, every time you connect to the internet. But this video's main focus, is not to explain DHCP in general. We're going to delve, into a more specific topic, the DHCP scope. Let's start with a definition of DHCP scope. DHCP scope, is a range of IP addresses a DHCP server can lease out to DHCP clients. So, how do I do that? Many network devices, provide DHCP services, like your internet router. In this video, our focus goes on the DHCP service, on Windows Server. The latest version of Windows Server, as we make this video, is Windows Server 2022, but in reality, the DHCP concept and scope configuration are pretty much the same. Assuming you have DHCP service installed, open the Server Manager console. Go to the Tools menu on the Server Manager, and click on DHCP. Expand your DHCP server, and right-click on IPv4. Select, New Scope, from the Options, and click on Next on the Welcome window. Insert a name, and the description, for your new DHCP scope. Then click Next. Specify the range of IP addresses for your DHCP pool, using the Start IP address, and End IP address boxes. Then, configure the subnet mask, and click Next. Add the exclusion range, using the Start and End IP address boxes and the Add button. This is useful if you have devices with static IP addresses, like printers, servers, or routers, within the scope you're creating. If you don't exclude those static IP addresses, it's likely that neither host, is able to communicate on the network. Click Next after you set it. Define the lease duration, or leave it as default. This is the amount of time, that a device can have that exact IP address. When expire, it should be renewed, or released. Click Next. Select the first option on the next screen, to set additional elements to your DHCP scope, and click Next. Add the default gateway address of your network, if you have one, and click on Next. Remember, the gateway is the IP address of the device, that allows you to access the external network, like the internet. Specify the domain name, and add the DNS server on the next screen. Click Next to continue. You can also add a WINS server address. Although nobody really uses WINS anymore. Finally, we can activate the scope immediately, or later on. And that's all we really need, to create a DHCP scope. If you want to learn more, about networking concepts and definitions, don't forget to press the subscribe button. To be notified, when our channel releases another video, click also on the bell icon. And don't forget to visit our website, networkencyclopedia.com.